Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Daz Reacts. And I've done a lot of stand-up comedians today, so I'm going to get on to some TV shows. And this is an older one. This is Harry and Paul. So Harry Enfield and Paul Whitehouse. And it's a mastermind sketch from many moons ago. Uh, some British comedy coming up here for you. I'm looking forward to it. This is a request from one of my subscribers. So I finally got around to doing it. If there's anything else you want me to react to, let me know in the comments down below and I will get around to doing it. But I'm looking forward to this. So let's just get straight into it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to help the channel out. But let's get into this. I'm looking forward to it. And next, our third contender, please. And your name is... Ken Barnett from Brian Farnett. Your occupation? Inventor. And your chosen subject? The works of J.K. Rowling. You have two minutes, starting now. The second in the series of Harry Potter books is called Harry Potter and the Chamber of What? Harry Potter and the Chamber of... Pass. At the beginning of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Professor McGonagall is to be found outside the Dursley's house, disguised in the form of what animal? Pass. What is the name of the sport played at Hogwarts involving riding on broomsticks in an attempt to strike a golden snitch? Pass. The Hogwarts Express leaves King's Cross Station from platform number what? Pass. Harry Potter has a ginger-haired friend with the surname Weasley. What is his first name? Pass. What is the first name of Professor Dumbledore? Albert. No, Albus. In Harry Potter and the... I've started, so I'll finish. In Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Harry, Ron and Hermione flee into London at a 12 grim old place, where they learn from Creature the whereabouts of Salazar Slytherin's locket. They successfully recover this horcrux by infiltrating the Ministry of Magic and stealing it from Dolores Umbridge. Under the object's evil influence and the stress of being on the run, Ron leaves the others. Harry and Hermione travel to Godric's Hollow, <laughs> Harry's birthplace and the place where his parents died. What is the name of the elderly magical historian they meet there? Pass. And at the end of that round, Ken Barnett, <laughs> you have 24 passes and no points. <laughs> it's just one person in the background. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm presuming this is meant to be a comedy because it's Harry and Paul, so... Um, I don't know. The, the funniest part of that was the, the long, 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 long last question. I'm hoping that Paul Whitehouse brings some of the comedy. Our final contender, please. <laughs> and your name is? Brian Farnett from Fry and Barnett. <laughs> your occupation? <laughs> Entrepreneur. <laughs> and your chosen subject? <laughs> Pass. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not gonna look. Oh, I've just watched a stand-up comedian that I wasn't too keen on. I, I, it was the case that it it brought the mood down a little bit in the sense that like I've been laughing all morning and things like that. And then I watched this one. <coughs> I watched this one thinking it's Harry Enfield and Paul Whiteass. They've got to bring my mood up. They've got to bring my mood back up, surely. And it didn't. Uh... This wasn't funny. The funniest bit about this was the presenter with the long-winded question. Other than that, I, don't... I can only give my honest opinions on what, on what I watch and whether I like it. And if someone said to me, oh, have you seen it? I'd be like, yeah, no, watch it again. I'd be like, no. That's two minutes of my life that I'm not going to get back. And I expected so much. And like, I love the Harry Enfield show. And I love Paul White Paul Whiteass in it. And it just didn't deliver. Honestly, did not deliver. I'm so disappointed in that sketch. I really am. That maybe I'm missing something. Maybe my sense, my, maybe my sense of humour is just different to what they done. I understood like the Farnet and Barnet and things like that but I don't, I don't know I don't know I'm just gonna end the video there because it didn't hit the right notes listen guys I hope you enjoyed it uh, I I didn't <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I, I I didn't and I I do honest opinions I don't do opinions that just for the sake of I've got to like this I've got to like that I do opinions based on honesty and 
I didn't like that one, I'm afraid. And I'm not going to say that I'm not going to watch Harry Enfield again because I know for a fact that I am. But I'm not going to watch this one. Guys, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. If there is anything you want me to react to, let me know in the comments down below. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'm now going to look for another video that's going to try and lift my mood again. <laughs>